Hi! In the last video, we explained what a life cycle was. But how does this all translate into values? What do we actually measure? Well, this is actually the hard part. Because there are a lot of parameters that you can take into account and they all have a different meaning and importance depending on what you look at. Important example of factors are land use, water use, soil eutrophication, which means the pollution of systems with excess nutrients, and greenhouse gas emissions. It is important that we look at each stage of a life cycle and that we measure each factor. Once you start to look at all these factors, you can imagine that the equation becomes really big and difficult. Because if nuts don't produce that many greenhouse gases, but they require a huge amount of water, are they sustainable? What if we produce these nuts in an area where a lot of water is available? What does this all mean? These are only examples, and the official LCA, which means Life Cycle Assessment, looks at a total of 15 factors. We will focus first on the GHG emissions, which cause global warming, and then afterwards look at all the other factors one by one. Next week, we will look at these greenhouse gas emissions and try to expose which ingredients are the most polluting ones. Studies in sustainability are not finished at all, yet. <laughs> That's why we need all the expertise we can get. Are you a researcher and eager to share your work with us? Get in touch. <laughs> we would love to hear from you. Bye.